Hello YouTube, this is Syrian King 44 um, Today I'll be showing you guys how to get um, Samsung Galaxy onto Froyo 2.2 I think, or 2.1, I'm not really sure, I forgot. But um, the process in which you'll have to do that is uh, go and download uh, Samsung Kias Mini and uh, this is how you do it. You go to Google, you type in Samsung, well, Kias Mini. I had it already copied to paste. And uh, look for it. You go right here to the third one. Just download Samsung Kias 1.0. Click it. You should have this option right here where it tells you Samsung Electronic Co. Download it. Either you have uh, the Samsung Captivate or you either have Samsung Vibrant. In my case, I have Samsung Vibrant. So I click this. You know, you download is starting, and you know you just follow the steps to install it. After that, after you've installed it, I'm gonna close this. Um, after you've installed it, what you do? It, it, well, it would be right here or wherever it would be. But um, you double click it, turn, open it. Okay, so it says please connect your mobile phone. What you do is you go on to your Samsung Vibrant and you turn it on. You go to uh, Applications. You go to Settings. And then in Settings, you go to uh, Application. Um, manage. Well, let me see. Uh, no, you, uh, Development. Uh, set it on to USB Debugging. And uh, there should be like a red icon, I believe. Let me see. Well, there should be a red icon on the left. After you've done that, and uh, well, before this, also you should you know back up all your personal information, your contacts, your photos, all that you know good stuff that you don't want to be lost in any case. Um, after that, like I said, you go hook it up to, um, to your phone. And there should be something that says, something should pop up on the top that says select USB mode, Kias, media player, or mass storage. Uh, you'd click Kias. If you don't have that option, you'd have to go through settings and, you know, try to find it in there about you know, the software or where it stays by. I'm not really sure exactly. Um, location and security. Um, no, it's not there. Um, well, whatever you'd have to find through uh, your settings, and you'll, you'll you'd locate wherever it is to allow either to connect to USB to automatically ask, or to automatically go to Kias or mass storage. Uh, but uh, I always have it selected to allow me to select whatever I want. So after you've done that and uh, you've selected Kias Mini, it should well, hold on one second. It should. Um, I should say what con connecting please I mean press the home key to quit Samsung Kias but you're not going to do that and this thing's going to automatically just do it for you it's going to ask well yeah, this is my phone it's going to say SGHT959 and if you see here it's his latest version so it's already been updated but uh, if you're new to this you probably have this option right here where it says phone upgrade click phone upgrade and whatever you do do not unplug if you unplug you will be fucked maybe not but I mean it's better not to be fucked than to think you are I don't know just don't don't unplug just keep it the way it is and let it finish and uh, after that you'd have these pretty sick options when you're done you'd be able to you know go do phone tethering and USB tethering and all that good stuff you know and the market's pretty phenomenal um, other than that, yeah, it's pretty awesome, uh, awesome upgrade, Froyo, but, um, yeah, if you guys like this video, please subscribe, any additional comments, or whatever you guys want help with, or, you know, upcoming products, or you guys need help with, just, uh, you know, shoot me a message, and let me know, and I'll try to get back to everybody, you know, like I said, in my other videos, keep it clean, or your, or your comments will be deleted, um, thanks, subscribe, and, uh, peace.